Hi, I'm Christopher Walker with Closely Observed Literature. In this book, I'm going to tell you a little bit about an introduction to English poetry by James Fenton. When I was growing up, I hung on every word that my dad said. And if my dad told me something, it was gospel. And I didn't really question it. And it led me down some dead ends in life, let's say. One of those was that he never really held stock or never really valued, let's say, poetry. So I never really cared for poetry either, of course, because he didn't, I didn't. So getting through English classes at school, um, if we had to look at the sonnets, if we had to look at any kind of poetry, um, I remember that line, the Orison Bells or something like that from the First World War Poets, I kind of grudgingly went through it. But I think deep down I might have taken something from it. So anyway, fast forward a number of years, uh, I'm finally my own man thanks to literature in a big part. Um, I've come across the writings of Christopher Hitchens, who I adore, and uh, I explore the whole group. I read Catch, uh, Hitch 22, not Catch 22, Hitch 22, his autobiography. Uh, he mentions you know, the people he hung out with, the people he grew with as, as a writer, uh, Martin Amos being one of those, and James Fenton was another, and I'd never heard of James Fenton. So I immediately went online, had a look to see uh, who this guy was and I found out that he was a bit of a poet and um, came across this book and I thought well you know maybe it's time maybe I should have another look at poetry I'm so glad that I did and I'm so glad that this book was my introduction because it is magnificent it's written in such plain everyday language but with a little spark of of something there's a, a hint of genius to it it doesn't put you off, it's not too academic, it is uh, really approachable and it's memorable because Fenton knows his subject and he speaks about it with passion. For example, I'd never heard of uh, a form of poetry which is called the Villanelle and uh, he's talking about it in one of the early um, chapters, The Training of the Poet, and he gives the example of W.E. Henley's Villanelle. Um, a dainty thing is the villanelle, sly, musical, a jewel in rhyme. It serves its purpose passing well. A double clappered silver bell that must be made to clink in chime. A dainty thing is the villanelle. So it establishes the pattern. There are rules in a villanelle. So you have this, these three lines. Fenton explains all of that. And then you think, yeah, okay. So villanelles are useless, I guess. There's not much you can do. And then he says, ah, but, um, and I love this line, to get from here, so this example, to Dylan Thomas's do not go gentle into that good night might seem impossible. And you start reading, do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. I think it sounds better in Michael Caine's voice when he was reading it in uh, Interstellar. But it's a villanelle just like the other example. And he talks about how you get from one to the other. And I just like the way that he tells us about it. He says, after this, he says, you may like this or not. You may feel that it is over rhetorical and unclear in its thought, that it has too much of the, the swell of organs, grandiose and sublime, or you may be moved by it. Whichever reaction you have, the likelihood is that if you start from Thomas's Villanelle as a model, you will be setting your sights much higher than if you start from Henley's. If Thomas learned from Henley, it would only have been to ignore his example. Isn't that lovely writing? I mean, if you have Fenton as a teacher, you're going to come out with a great appreciation of poetry. And that's the whole point of this book. It is brilliant. If you've never tried poetry before, I'm not suggesting that you should start writing it, but if you want to, go ahead. But if you've never really thought about it, you've never really thought about the rules and its construction and good and bad examples, this little book, I mean, look at it, it's tiny. This is what you need to get started. It is the key to unlock the door to poetry. So, read it. And see you next time.